The rationale was really uh, to investigate pembrolizumab, which is a monoclonal antibody against PD one in patients with gastric cancer, which is known to be a, certainly a disease that needs a lot of new therapies. This study looked at several different combinations, whether by itself or in combination with chemotherapy. Uh, it was a non-randomized study, so it was a large phase one expansion cohort that is the largest majority of patients on the study with uh, 259 patients with heavily pretreated uh, metastatic gastric cancer. So the results of the study of that cohort in particular show us that uh, the response rate is, is roughly 12%. The ability to shrink tumors down is about 12%, which is higher in the group of patients who have pdl one positive expression uh, versus those who have pdl one negative expression. So, so not definitively better, uh, some patients in, it's not a perfect biomarker, I should say, in that some patients with pdl one negative do have responses, but there's a trend towards a higher response rate in the group of patients with pdl one positive disease. So, I mean, the most practical aspect of this is that this drug is under review currently as we speak for regulatory approval for exactly this setting, refractory metastatic gastric cancer. The expectation is that this drug will, uh, will be reviewed in the next few weeks and hopefully favorably and lead to a new treatment option for patients with metastatic gastric cancer. How, as to what setting and in what context it'll be used uh, def dep will depend a little bit on what the label looks like and also on the results of several ongoing randomized trials which have not yet resulted yet. Well, I mean, so certainly some patients respond to this therapy, and the important thing about this kind of therapy as an immunotherapy is that some of the responses are, if they respond, which is, you know, like we talked about, 12%, so many of these responses are quite durable and have limited toxicity. So, so in some respects, that's a, that's a new aspect of oncology, which is that the tail of the curve uh, with gastric cancer is something that we do see in the study and that the responders, many of them are durable uh, and, and so as to exactly how people will use it will depend largely on the results of further studies because you always want to move your drug from third line to earlier line of therapy a, as they're doing. I think uh, gastric cancer has got a lot going on right now in terms of new drugs. You see two new uh, PD-1 inhibitors with updated data, pembrolizumab being one that we talked about it also nivolumab. And then you see new standards of care emerging in, in, in uh, neoadjuvant therapy with the FLOT regimen, which is now clearly a new standard of care. And there's all a whole bunch of other smaller trials that are setting the stage for, uh, you know, hopefully combination immunotherapy or whatever it may be in the years to come. So there's a lot going on right now in gastric cancer, fortunately, and it's, uh, hopefully these results will be positive.